who are upset with our denomination because of this or that prophetic action or, or this proclamation on the topic of the day. And to some people it seems like there's no issue so far out that the United Church of Christ doesn't find a way to be on the cutting edge of it. Sometimes those people are right. For the record, I don't always agree with what our denomination announces. But about the time I'm ready to write them a letter, or God forbid, write them off, I remember three things, and I'm going to share them with you today. First is that we are a congregationally based denomination. You know what that means? It means you don't have to agree with it. You don't even have to act in a manner that's compliant. And Lord knows I know that you don't. <laughs> and it's not unlike what I say from the pulpit. You're not required to agree with me. It's not a part of it. I'm also not required to say things you're going to like to hear. That's not a but I remind you, you're not required to agree with my proclamations. Mine is the voice, one voice, one, in the conversation about our Christian faith. We are all, every single one of us, in conversation about who and what God would have us to be. And part of our denomination's Part of the United Church of Christ's mission is to challenge us here in the local churches to keep us honest about the prophetic concerns and the justice concerns of our age, even when it's not comfortable for us. And it's our obligation as well to challenge them. Now the second thing that uh, I'm reminded of when I'm feeling critical of this denomination is I'm really happy, because we're not very different, if at all. I'm really happy to be part of a denomination where I don't have to check with headquarters in order to launch a new program or to consider a new theological perspective. We don't have to check with headquarters. I don't have to check with headquarters. I have to check with you, the local congregation. And I like that. I don't know how you feel about it, but I don't like it. Now, third, and this is what I'm really preaching about today, and this is the one I consider to be critical. It is a privilege to be part of a denominational family where the motto is taken from the book of John 17, that they may all be one. I think it's a critical message in this juncture, at this juncture of human history. The world today needs our message more than ever before. Why? Well, let me begin by saying something about religion in general. All religions have a tendency towards exclusivism. You know what exclusivism is, right? Here, not you, but us. All religions have this tendency. I don't care whether it's Christianity, Buddhism, Islam, Judaism, all of them, they all have this exclusionist tendency. The tragedy is that unchecked exclusivism, in my opinion, leads inevitably to violence 